honest, this right here is every single minifigure pack ever released. And today, I'm going to be opening every single one of them to try and find some of the rarest minifigures of all time. So let's start with the first series, shall we? These bad boys here. Oh my god, I feel I feel wrong opening this, but oh, this feels so wrong, man. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Okay, okay. Do you know what? For the first one, I think I may have gotten like one of the, the worst ones in the series. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna try and keep my emotions in check and calm down and hopefully we get something bad. With season two, which was honestly another banging series. Like, I don't know what they were putting in these things, but for the first like few years, these were unreal. Give me something good. Give me something good. Come on. Oh, okay, okay, I'll take this. You know, just a just a standard minifigure here, nothing nothing crazy. I'll give him like a six out of ten because it's not a bad minifigure, but honestly, quite basic. I'm sorry to say it, fellas, it's quite basic. Right, let's have a look at series three then, shall we? Oh yes! Oh my god, you are kidding me! He is dripped out to the max. This is literally me if you even can. Yeah, I, I think we've actually lucked out on that one. Nine out of ten. Now moving on to series four. Now this one, I remember like distinctly this series going into the store to try and find it, and then being like, hey mom, <laughs> give me. Some, please. And she'd be like, oh no, I don't have the money for it. And I'd be like, you mean you don't want to spend your wages on buying me Lego? Oh, we have to buy food and pay for heating and electric. Priorities. Priorities, please. I'm excited. Come on. I, mean, I can't even lie. This is a sick minifigure. He's got a waist cape that Lego just never make anymore. So great job, Lego. Series five. This next one, I am, again, very excited for. Like, there's a few years in a row where I actually would have collected these as a kid. But obviously, I, I didn't get all of them because... <laughs> I don't, want to, I don't want to talk about it. Just makes me, just makes me angry that I didn't get these. You know what I mean? Like, why couldn't they just spend their wages on buying me little tiny minifigures instead of stuff that doesn't really matter, like mortgages? Ugh. Trouble childhood. That's me. I'm hoping it's something pretty good. Um, something good. Okay, okay. You know what? I will take the clown. There's people that aren't subscribed right now. You should check it because otherwise you're a clown. I'll give them like a five out of ten. Now we're on to series six. Now, this is a series, right, where you had basically every single minifigure. You had the Statue of Liberty, robot, the alien, the loose thing. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what I've got. Shall we? Come on. Something good. Come on. Okay. Okay. Yes! The surgeon. I don't care what anybody says. This is a cool minifigure. You get a little a little mask, which, you know, foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Like it was foreshadowing. You know what? I'm gonna give it like a 7 out of 10. This guy here, the guy in the pajamas, I distinctly remember going around to my friend's house. He had this bad boy and I needed a Kai hairpiece from Ninjago. Pocket that stuff. Get out of there. I literally stole it from him. Apologies for that one. I needed it more than you. Series 7 now. I don't really know much about this series, so I'm just gonna crack it open. Just something good. Come on. Oh my god, is this Tarzan? Yes! There is a Lego monkey. I mean, it does kind of look like he's gonna try and like cut cut the monkey up. Um, let's hope not. That's like, I think they based that toss off of, um, off of me. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I was the, the model they went off. It just brings a tear to my eye. Like, I just always wanted a Lego monkey. Now I've got one. It's so real. It's so real. Series 8 now. We've, what do we get? A cheerleader. Not bad. Not bad. I, I'm not complaining. Pretty good. All right, Series 9 now. Let's, let's see what we're cooking with. What have we got? What have we got here? Oh my god. Yes! Okay, let me set the scene real quick. So I would have been about nine or ten when these things released, and you know, I was just in the store, and my mom said it's like ten pounds. So I went ahead and got myself a couple, and there was one minifigure. It was the space guy. He looked cool. He looked badass. I was stood there for a good hour, feeling all the minifigure packs, and I thought, I've got him. I think I've got him. I'm pretty sure I've got him because I'm an expert. Opened it up. This loser here was in the pack twice. So I missed out on one of the most important things of my childhood because of that little orange loser. But now he's home. I'm giving this one a straight 10. And this is sick. And now it's time for Series 10. Now, for those of you that don't know, Series 10 is a really special series. Because like I thought, hey, do you know what would be really funny? <laughs> Let's just put a super rare mini figure in some of the bags. Not tell anybody which ones they are. And um, as you can probably imagine, it didn't, it didn't turn out uh, too well. People were like, you know, li literally fist fighting for this thing. If you're a dad of a kid who wants the, to get it for his kid, <laughs> take him out. I'm getting that mini figure, not you. Mr. Gold goes for around 9,700 euros. US dollars. 10 G's dropped on this thing. There is a there is a chance. A very slim chance, but there is a chance. Everybody, let's just have a little let's have a little pray real quick. Um I think I'm ready. I am actually I'm actually nervous for this. Here we go. The moment of truth. Oh my yes! Oh my god, gosh, fellas, 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 I actually got it. It's the it's the skydiver. I I got the skydiver. It's not quite like a, a solid gold minifigure that goes for 10 grand, but you know, this is this is cool too, right? Right? 
Right. Let's just move on to the next one, shall we? To series 11. Well, this, this is, again, another pretty banging series. Let's see what we've got on here, shall we? Come on. Yes, okay, come on. Gingerbread man, that's what I want. The mug says, dunk me. That's like a person holding a mug that says, shoot me. Like, put me in a vat of acid. This thing is in, like, a classic Lego minifigure. Like, this is such an iconic minifigure, so I've got to give it, like, an 8 out of 10. Now on to series 12, which, crack this bad boy open. Oh, I'm really, again, so excited to see what we get. Oh, come on, nice. Is this, like, this is one of, the, like, three musketeers or something? Again, they're kind of, kind of weird that they've got, like, my, my body type in the Lego minifigure, you know, ripped. Kind of weird Lego that you, you base a minifigure off me, but I guess it's okay. Alright, we've got series 13 now. Let's see what we've got, shall we? Oh, yes! Look at this guy here! I think I'm gonna give my first 10 of the minifigures. Not quite 10 grand uh, minifigure, but not bad. Now we've got a special series. Now this one is Lego Monsters. I'm actually very excited for this. Let's see. Here we go. What are we gonna get? Oh, yes, dude. A gargoyle? Are you kidding me? This is such a sick minifigure, man. Can we just, everybody, can we just collectively, you know, if you're watching this, just take a moment. Just clap your hands. Why are you, can you clap, can you clap? Thank you, thank you. We're on season 15 now, let's see what we've got. We got a cleaner, that's not bad. Other minifigures in here, honestly, some some guy that, um, a Lego Star Wars fan who I saw in daylight and just <laughs> His face on the floor became very good friends, let's just say that. He was chatting mad smack about Ninjago, so I just had to <laughs> left, right, good night. Now we get into some of the more modern minifigure series. So honestly, opening these, I have no idea what I'm in for. Yeah, it, it could go very badly, actually, so <laughs> a bit nervous. Here we go, what have we got? It's the Lego man. What a cool minifigure, though. Like, what, what a sick minifigure. Series 17. Okay, this has got some pretty decent minifigures in. Let's crank this one open, shall we? Who have we got? Okay, kind of crazy. They made a minifigure out of my Halloween costume that I wore this year. Resemblance, kind of uncanny. Kind of, kind of weird they, they knew that. Um, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Now we're on to series 18, which is a, such an iconic minifigure series. It was celebrating 40 years off the Lego minifigure. So hopefully we get something cool. You've got some pretty unique minifigures in here. Let's crack this bad boy open. Oh, okay, this is sick. I never actually got any of these back in the day. This is like a, the brick minifigure. No way. I've got a Miss Mole. That's got to be worth something, like maybe 10 grand. Anybody want to give me 10 grand, Ruby? quick. There's literally studs on the front so you can just put minifigures on there. He's just like kicked her in the stomach. Sick. Now we're getting into some of the more modern day minifigures. So we've got series 19. Now here you'd expect there to be, you know, some better printing, some better molds, some more complex stuff. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we're cooking with, shall we? Okay, yeah, this is the kind of thing I want. You've got a jewel molded head there where you've got like a nice pharaoh and then a, a dead pharaoh. Um, like uh, disturbing, I guess, but... And now we're on to series 20. I really always wanted to get those nunchucks there because they're like, you know, Ninjago, classic Ninjago. Let's pray. Okay, 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 okay. Not quite the nunchucks I was hoping for, but this is uh, probably the other best minifigure in it. The 1980s rock star here. That is actually sick. I, I actually really want a keytar. Maybe I could have afforded one if I uh, got Mr. Gold, but um, maybe I didn't. So. Right, we're getting into the final few now. We've got series 21 here. I'm just going to crack it open. I'm not even going to talk. I just want to get... I want to see what we've got. Yes, okay. This is sick. This is pretty sick. You know, classic Lego space. That is one of the coolest minifigures I think I've ever seen in my life. I think this one, again, is going to get a 10 from me. Now onto series 22. Oh, this is sick. Lego's honestly kind of outdoing themselves. Series 23. Let's see what we've got, shall we? I'm praying for something pretty good here because this, this looks like it's got some very good ones. Come on. Oh, yes. This is sick. She gets a, a weapon as well because there's nothing kids need more than lethal weapons to go and stab people with. And now, fellas, we are on to the final one. Series 24. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up, shall we? Really cool. Like, this is just a sick minifigure. You know, the headpiece, the, the little table. Very nice. And then that is all of them. But I actually randomly just got in the package just a, another one of these bad boys, which is Series 20. So let's see if I get a um, duplicate. I'm, I'm very excited to see. Come on, something good. What? Yes! Turtle in Lego! I'm gonna go ahead and say that is like one of the best minifigures. The amount of accessories you're getting is crazy. It's just a cool minifigure. And there we have it. We finished! Just look at that. One minifigure from every single season of minifigures. From every single series ever released. This is sick. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I actually wasn't expecting to get some of these minifigures. Like, this is such a, such a throwback. Wow. 